to part two uh, of the uh, making of the orthographic view uh, for the CCTV bracket. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a go at making the uh, front view, which is the view going uh, this way. Okay, and let's have a quick look at the um, finished drawing. And uh, basically, what we want to start with is uh, simply a um, uh, rectangle uh, that is 170 by 50 wide so 170 by 50 wide so you can see you've got 170 down and 50 sideways so that's what we're going to do and let's get into our engineering template here and i'm just gonna make sure grid lock is on let's put our rectangle tool on and i'm just going to click on a dot somewhere and doesn't matter whether it's lined up now it's a slightly different approach from what we've done before but um, it'll all become clear a bit later on in uh, part number three and four so um, i make sure i hover uh, so i'm not clicking at the moment i just click that first onto a dot and move up to my relative window and i want to go 50 sideways and 170 down so that's minus 170 Okay, and there we have our side view. Okay, uh, not side view, sorry, front view. And let's move that up a bit and let's pull this one sideways to make a bit more space. And I'll drag that label down here. Um, Okay, so what we need to do now is um, basically get the dimensions of the various sections here, because when we're looking at it from, from the front, these are going to be split up into rectangles as well. And we, um, we kind of know um, where some of these sections are going to be. So the first section or split is going to be here at 20. Um, so I'm gonna grab myself a ruler or a dimension and make a dimension 20 down and let's go on the distance here 20 and then I pull sideways okay and what else do I need um, I need a dimension from uh, this point here to uh, that point so again um, i'm gonna just find out what that dimension is by clicking in that corner there and uh, this corner here pull sideways okay and that's 20 again so i need another one of 20. same again i'm gonna click on the dots go 20 down and we've got 20. so what I need to do now is just grab a solid line because these are the corners here, right? So that corner will show up as a line and that corner there will show up as a line. And then I'll just drag a line across there, perfectly straight so it meets. That is obviously not right, that's not right, but that is, okay, perfect. Same again here and the next division will be down here somewhere um, and as we uh, as you probably can remember from uh, when we did this uh, this is 55 down so that's going to be our next division so i need to get myself another dimension up here start here and go 55 down 55 on the distance there we go and then I grab myself another line and put up the so I'm now working on the view what this CCTV bracket is going to look like from the front okay um, what else what's the next division well the next division is going to be um, from uh, um, this line here and down to that line 
So again, I need to know what the distance there is. So I'm going to grab myself, not a line this time, but a another vertical dimension. Good thing about the vertical dimension, it, it doesn't matter what corner you grab, it'll still show up as a vertical, not a, a diagonal. Uh, so you can see when I pull out now, in fact, I'm going to pull sideways this way just so it doesn't make it too complicated. So I need to go 45 down on the next one. Start in the corner here, 45 down, like so. And I'm just gonna pull up a full line at the moment. I'm, I'm gonna explain um, why um, it, it, it's not uh, gonna end up like a full line in a minute. Uh, but uh, we're just going to do a full straight line here. The reason why it's not going to end up as a full straight line is because as you can see that uh, strut here is slimmer than the rest of the bracket so we're going to have to slim that line down a bit and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to get all the divisions in first and then we've got a division down here and that is going 10 down so uh, let's get another ruler or dimension up here one two and that's going to be ten and we're going to get another straight line in there like so okay and you can see now why it's important to have the dimensions a different color from the actual drawing because it makes it terribly confusing uh, with uh, um, with all the information we've got on here. Now, for example, here you can see the dimension line going over the drawing. That's no good. I'm just going to quickly show you how to tidy that up. So I'm going to go to click on that dimension. Then I'm going to go to start edit. And then I'm just going to pull that sideways. Make sure I only pull it sideways and in line there so it and then I do the same here, so it only touches that line there, and then I'll click OK, and that is a lot more tidy. Okay. Um, do the same with this one here. Start edit. Need to make sure I pull sideways only. There and there, and then I can pull this one up on the yellow bit there, so it's. That's a lot better. Now I've got another green line going in on the drawing there. I don't want these green lines in on the drawing. So I'm going to start edit and I'm going to pull them back. Like so. That's a lot better because they're not actually interfering with a drawing. And same here. No, not property. I want to go to start edit and pull that up. Like so. so. Now I've got the, the drawing is free from any interference. Uh, I could probably do a little bit of tidying up down here. That's not that important at the moment. Okay, so now we've got all the divisions in here. I now need to sort this strut out here. I said that's not quite as wide as the rest of the bracket. Let's have a look at the finished drawing. And see how wide this is and this is with the correct view um, if you can appreciate that so let's uh, let's find out how wide this strut is by putting in a little dimension on here not 21 okay uh, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a 21 wide rectangle that is uh, uh, 45 uh, long so um, we're gonna do here and this is where we're gonna do a little bit of, of uh, trickery so um, I'm just gonna grab the rectangle tool and click on a random dot next to the uh, bracket and click on the once on the uh, dot and then I go up here I want 21 sideways, 45 down, so that's minus 45. And there we have the rectangle. 
Now, there are several ways of making sure that this sits bang in the middle here. I'm going to show you the easy way. Um, that's using the align tool um, because we would have to pull up um, either a dimension uh, here and use the step block, uh, which is a lot of hard work. And we don't want hard work, we want to do this. Uh, using the power tools in, in, in two design tools, and this is one of them. So click on this one here where it says align selected objects. And what we're going to do is we're going to align this bang in the middle of this. So we're going to say center vertically, center vertically. Click OK, and then I'm going to click here. And as you can see, it's now lined it up absolutely bang in the middle. Perfect but we need to move it down a bit. So again, I'm going to use my uh, align tool. And this time we're going to make sure we head on the top line of this line here. And there we go, it's a bang in the middle. That means we can now I'm going to use the de uh, delete tool, delete any object, and I'm going to get rid of that bottom line there. And there is our view, um, front view, and it's done. Um, now, plus if you have worked with me in the past, you know that I um, uh, have shown you how to line these up with um, projection lines. Um, I'm going to try to simplify things a bit. So what I'm going to do now is, um, and it might be that the dimensions won't follow suit, as in they won't be pulled along but we're going to use our power tool I'm going to select all this uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do first now that I'm happy with my bracket just I'm going to group it so that it doesn't fall apart when I move it so I'm going to go to group that's a shortcut for that that's um, com uh, control G and then uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to group it with the draw uh, with the dimensions because I want the dimensions to be uh, a, well, a separate part from the drawing. So we're going to select all that, click on our power tool, and where do we want it to line up? We want to line it up exactly with the top of that line there. So we're going to make sure I'm top. Click OK, and let's try to see if we can snap that in there. Perfect. It is now lined up perfectly. Now it's messed up our dimensions doesn't matter. I'm uh, not worried about that because I can add dimensions later on. Okay. Uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll undo that. And uh, this time we're just going to select the uh, component, the view. And let's go for the top again. Yeah, that's fine. And let's just move that. Okay, now the uh, dimensions are completely wrong. Uh, so what I'm going to do then separately is just pull the dimensions up. Now to make sure I only move it in one direction, I'm going to use what's called the radial lock. A radial lock uh, uh, will uh, uh, make sure that I can only move it in uh, one direction once I get started. So once I get started here, it will move it and there we are perfect and then i'm going to um, select all of this i'm going to move sideways make sure radial lock is on because i don't want to mess up the alignment between that and that line there and move it sideways to about there and this is just to tidy it up okay and we can now see these are lined up perfectly and that is a proper orthographic view and this is our second view now that's the front view so I'm going to just copy that put that down here oops we've got radial lock on which is messing with our uh, movements and I'm just going to go to property and change that to front view and that's our part two done of the orthographic projection for unit six.